Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars The Black Series K2SO. I was about to say Marvel Legends, but uh, yeah, I haven't reviewed a uh, 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 Black Series in a while, so I'm um, excited to get back into it. Uh, we're looking at K2SO. Uh, I, it's funny, I went to the Toy Vault. If you go to my Funko Monster channel, you, you'll know what that is um, if you've been watching for a while. Uh, I uh, I saw this guy for 25 bucks at the toy vault. Then I went to the uh, Toys R Us down the street, 20 bucks. Yeah, uh, but on the side of the package, he's number 24 in the Black Series. Uh, here's his read up. If you want to read it, pause it now. There he is on the side, and it just says 2SO, K K 2SO. Uh, and yeah, uh, nothing else going on with the packaging. Let's just get this guy open. And we got K2SO out of the packaging, and I've got to say, pretty, uh, fragile figure. I'm so afraid he's gonna break. Uh, honestly, re in reality, I don't know how this dude's walking. Uh, I, seriously, it's like, I don't know how he's walking. He's so thin and scrawny, it's ridiculous, but... It's just still a pretty nicely detailed figure. Articulation is very scary. It's, I mean, for what it is, it's good. Um... But let's just take a look at the head sculpt. Uh, come on, focus. There we go. It's got this matte finish. You can see some uh, scuffage. It's not even it's just fake scuffage. But it's got the plain face expression. Some, it's, it looks like glossy, but it's really not. And you can actually even see inside the neck pivot. In, in pivot inside the neck joint. It's got nice details in there. It's got the Imperial uh, logo there. The Empire logo. It's got some buttons. Look really nice. Love the silver in here. It looks very cool. I like how there's some orange breaking it up. But it's got this right here. Yeah, very uh, scrawny, but you can see some uh, wearing. Got a little antenna. Love this. I think it looks cool. It's got some sort of fan there. No, not even a fan or whatever. But yeah, very sketchy figure. I, uh, I'm like, you think he wouldn't be able to stand, but he stands pretty well considering he's so tall and top heavy. But articulation is his head is on a ball joint and then he has a neck joint so he can look all the way down. Look all the way, well not really all the way up because it's the way it's sculpted. But he can move side to side. His head can move side to side. He can move like that. Like that. Uh, the arms go out and I like how it cuts in. Not really cuts in but it just c curls in I guess. And you can move the arms all the way around. There's the uh, bicep swivel, single bend at the elbow. I mean, uh, blah, 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 elbow. Uh, <laughs> I'm dumb. Um, but yeah, I, I like how it, how go how far it goes in, considering it's not a double joint. But uh, it does have an ab crunch. Can move very little forward, kind of far back. Uh, can move side to side. It's the um, the diaphragm joint. The hip joints move out this far. It can it kicks out, but and then you can kick it this way. Yeah, that's I don't know. I don't like that. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, the double joint. I mean, single joint at the knee. Again, that's pretty impressive. Consider. Oh, I like that. The the pegs in here are clear, so you can. Yeah, that's that's cool. Uh, there's a, a calf cut. And the ankles do hinge. And no kind of ankle pivot? Not really. But I mean, it's like you're not going to put him in that kind of crazy pose. Because he didn't really do that much action in the movie. So, I mean, I mean, none of the droids did. Except the, the one that did the most action is probably BB-8. And that was just him, like, rolling around in the Millennial Falcon. So, I don't know. Millennium, millennium, I don't know, whatever. Uh, now, size comparisons. Come on, stand. 
Uh, here is. Just gonna lower this. Here is uh, Captain Kazian Endor and Jin Ursa. Uh, I like the comparison between these two. I feel like. K he should be either shorter or K2SO should be taller. I don't know. I, I, but I do like that size comparison. I'm not comparing any of the uh, Storm Death Troopers just because I don't know. Um, but, oh, love. I, I'm, more, this figure's starting to grow on me. I, like, I see more details every time I look at him. Uh, you can see that, like, this little blue and white thing here. But yeah, uh, I do, I mean, I, I am impressed with this figure. Uh, if you do see him, definitely pick him up if you, especially if you liked uh, Rogue One. Just because he is kind of getting hard to find, although I think Hasbro's been re-releasing it. Or him, it, whatever. Um, and actually the uh, voice actor, he's going to be at uh, Rhode Island Comic Con this year. He was also the voice of King Candy. Oh wait, did, did I tell you the risk can hinge? Uh... And swole. Uh, yeah. Um, he plays King Candy in Wreck-It Ralph, and, uh, he plays a character in Frozen, and he plays the chicken in Moana, yeah. Uh, very odd that someone actually does do the voice for a chicken in Moana, but, uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to see a whole lot of videos. I'm posting every single day of June, so uh, this is going to be up on June 2nd. Um, anyways, thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! I fucked it up again. Thanks for watching!